Slayer's forces are under attack. Players' 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 forces are under attack. should be able to benefit as we do see claws of attack plus six all right the shadow hunter should be joining a player's forces are under attack making making sure to cover up that difference meanwhile death knight does have a holy war now moving out across the map very quickly this could be Forces are under attack. This, uh, boots of speed will be able to get back away. Death Knight down to, well, ha has 107. Are we going to perhaps see the hex go down there? Oh, let's go ahead. Hex on to, oh, that's just a straight up big, not a hex at all. Blade Master now looking. 
looking to get healed back up as the Shadow Hunter did come across. You do see the gem of health coming across here as the Blade Master looks to finish off or try to get some additional experience here. Picks up dust of appearance. A player's forces are under attack. Very critical as we now see that skeleton and then get taken down, getting cleaved by that giant axe. Crypt Beans, Lich sitting at the could come across here. Let's see uh, some engagement. This is the the gem from the that. That is like Still sitting at level two, vampiric aura doubling up, not that great. We'll see what the blade master tries to do next. The vampiric aura should be given to the shadow hunter, as the blade master generally tops out on items much more quickly than that shadow hunter. The blade master wanting a potion of resurrection ability, speed. All right, extra damage. Players' forces are under attack. A very, very bad fight. Forces are under attack. Purposely trying to ensnare, trying to engage all of these units. Rock Holden is in position, destroyer is ready to go. Players' forces are under attack. 
If there is a critical mass on all of the uh, piercing damage, that could start to make a bit of a play as we do see a Shade now keeping track of this army. Blade Master is still wandering around here and the Shade does in fact spot the Wind Rider. I believe that is more of a last effort to try and be able to deal with the Blade Master getting at level 4 with a 201 straight off. Get another 204. Very, very high damage indeed. And where are these units going to be traveling to next? Blade Master ready to go. It does have rude bracers. It makes it much more difficult to get focused down. There goes one control berserker. There is a web. That damage is getting added up. All right. Stomp currently in place. Blade Master trying to finish off that Frostworm. Frostworm looks like it will get taken down. No, there's a death blow. Photo Beast gets taken down as well. Are we going to see that finished off there? There goes one, one Frostworm. The force, uh, the Berserker is still trying to finish off four units. Blade Master getting crazy damage in right now. Players sure forces how that are under out. attack. Blade Master seeing that 37 over 60 compared to 55 over 70. Both sides losing a good amount of units, but of course, a uh, fly um, with less to lose ended up perhaps coming out okay in that particular battle. If he, is he able to perhaps keep that Blade Master alive continually? The Rune Bracers are going to be the, the main reason why the Blade Master has been able to constantly survive all of these battles. If you take a look, it is either piercing damage or magic damage indeed. Torn Chieftain is going to get a stomp in there. There is a, a stomp right there. Big damage once again. It looks as though the Frostworm could get taken down. There it goes. Blade Master continuing this fight once more. Is he going to be able to finish off more units? Is he healing back up? No, he is not. I'm healing there. Potion of the vulnerability transferring the Potion of the there goes another destroyer as the Blade Master can perhaps go after some more units again. Torrent Chieftain unable to get a stomp off. There goes a stomp. There goes a Crypt Fiend. And Fly with some crazy, crazy micro has been able to perhaps even things up just a bit. Rude Bracers making this damage pretty much um, ne negating all the damage from all of the magic, the Boneyards, Frostworms, and the Destroyers. The Blade Master using a potion of invulnerability and a potion of healing also a has a clarity potion which has attack. not been used as of yet. Not quite sure why. Still wandering around here. Blade Master getting back up. Is he going to be able to go after that Crypt Fiend? And yes, does get a Windwalk Strike, but does not finish off the target. All right, Blade Master perhaps should be using a clarity potion here. Shadow Hunter should be resurrected. Yes, he does come bearing gifts. As we are looking at the Blade Master now making its way over, we do see a couple of Forest Troll High Priests, and that is it. The Blade Master wants to level up. Not going to be able to do so off of these units here, but it's going to be able to do a good chunk of damage once again and heal up as well. All right, talk about a major comeback. Fly sitting at 44 over 60 compared to 50 over 70. Has he reached, has he reached critical mass? Has he gotten back from the breaking point in order to get back into this game? Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. Blade Master does not have that much mana, but at plus 17 attack, does he really need that much? The very fast attack speed of that Blade Master, adding in a little bit more. Blade Master could try and engage. A um, Windwalk about to come to an end, and it looks like, yes, it does come to an end right there. Blade Master not going to engage. No procking of that Orb of Lightning, which would have stopped that unit, the Death Knight, in its tracks. Units now looking to pull back here. Let's take a look. 1-1 upgrades, 48 over 60. 
um, you see some a bit of long distance mining, you know, this walk of shame, even though it is completely and absolutely unnecessary. A player's forces perhaps are getting under in attack. a little bit of extra gold with those peons um, is still very, very nice at this stage. All right, let's take a look at this. We do see a gold mine, or sorry, Dark Ranger now uh, pulling back here. Those peons are going to go ahead and head inside and then pull back out in just a moment. And here comes that engagement. Raiders cross over Death Coil on all of those Wind Riders. Huge wave bouncing around. Is it going to be enough trying to go after all of these units? The units do not seem to be in a good position at all. Blade Master now going to engage right here. Torn Chieftain does have Stomp, and it should be able to stomp down some of these units. Destroyers are all here as well. There's a healing wave bouncing around. Blade Master continuing to fight. There's a big Stomp right there. Quick beam, slow on hit points. Crossword could get taken down. No, not taken down. Death Coil again. Level 5 Death Coil, 600 hit point heals. And the Blade Master may have just outlived all of its luck right there. Shadow Hunter continuing the fight right now. Blade Master trying to will this battle into victory. The Blade Master almost gets taken down, down to 177. All right, Healing Wave Speed Scroll now being used. The Peons are just pretty much walking through a death gauntlet of units as the Destroyers end up finishing them all off right there. All right, we are looking at uh, 35 over 60 compared to 67 over 70. That fight did not go the direction that he was expecting this time around. And it does not look like this fight will go well at all. All right, or about lightning. Are we going to see some frogs in here? 213, critical strike. The potion of leather and vulnerability could be used. Torn Chieftain perhaps trying to get in a good stomp somewhere. Does get the blade or the death knight. Torn Chieftain in serious trouble. Does get healed up. He's now trying to wander around. Perhaps the, the gem of health needs to be given back. There's nothing here for Burrows. As you see, a obsidian statue gets taken down. Very, very small victory there. A lot more going to be needed if the Blade Master is attempting to come back from this particular game. Potion of Leather and Vulnerability. Short of getting three critical, four critical strikes in a row. Fly will give the GG, and there you have it, 120 taking a 2 to nothing lead in this series. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, hope you guys enjoyed it.